Story 3 How the Kangaroo Got Her Pouch A long time ago, when the world was young, the gentle kangaroo mother looked after her little Joey very well. One day, she heard a wombat cry. I am weak and old. I am blind and I haven't got any friends. I am so hungry and so thirsty, he lamented. The gentle kangaroo mother was very kind, so she said, I'll be your friend. Just hold my tail and I will lead you to some nice, cool, clean water. And I will find some nice, juicy green grass for you. But the gentle kangaroo mother couldn't see little Joey anywhere. He always disappeared while her back was turned. She searched across the plains, up and down the hills, around the bushes, in and out of caves. Finally, she found him, fast asleep under an old gum tree. Then she went back to get the wombat. But when she found him, she also saw an Aboriginal hunter. He was looking at the wombat and he had a boomerang in his hand, ready to attack the poor old animal. To protect her friend, she jumped in front of the hunter and then she hopped and hopped away. The hunter followed her across the plains. He wanted kangaroo for dinner. But she was too fast and the hunter lost her. When the gentle kangaroo mother and little Joey went back to get the old wombat, they realised that he was not a wombat at all. He was, in fact, Bayami, the creator spirit. Bayami had descended from the sky world and he had come to Earth to find the gentlest creature of all. He wanted to reward the gentle kangaroo mother, so he gave her a pouch to keep little Joey safe and comfortable on her belly. And that's why kangaroos now have a pouch.